Hi, I'm Greg Vosper. This is my new gear self, turbocharger, turbojet. I first got interested in this idea in uh, about 1995, uh, based on information I saw in the DTT uh, email group uh, that was on the internet. There's all kinds of people all over the world building uh, turbochargers, such as turbojets, such as this, based on automotive turbochargers. Uh, this particular example was just built for uh, entertainment and uh, research, just uh, so I can learn a little bit more about. Uh, turbojet engines. Uh, it's based on a, a Garrett turbocharger that's off of a Chrysler 2.2 liter uh, four-cylinder engine. Uh, there were lots of these around in uh, 1995 in the uh, scrap yards when I set about to make this. Uh, I, I built the frame uh, just based on uh, one inch square mild steel tubing just so that I had a, a way to mount everything. The uh, actual combustion chamber you can see here is just a simple piece of uh, black three inch sprinkler pipe. It's threaded at both ends. It has a cap on one end and a, a reducer on the other with a standard uh, cast street elbow that feeds into the, uh, the turbine wheel. Um, it's uh, fueled by just regular propane. As you can see over there is a 40 pound propane tank. Uh, it's just a standard propane regulator. Uh, propane comes through this line, through the needle valve, through the master cutoff valve which is just a uh, half inch stainless steel ball valve. Uh, it flows into a nozzle which is in the combustion chamber where it mixes with uh, combustion air which comes out of the uh, the uh, compressor side of the uh, turbocharger. Uh, one point to remember, a lot of people have trouble figuring out the flows of uh, turbojet engines. It's easy to remember that usually the aluminum colored side is the cold side of uh, uh, turbocharger, turbojet. Uh, this is where the air goes in. It's compressed it comes out this discharge hose here and goes down this pipe where it, where it enters the combustion chamber, mixes with the fuel, ignites and uh, expands, comes out the outlet and into the turbine wheel, exhausts out here as thrust. Um, the turbine wheel and the compressor wheel are on the same shaft, so any power that is generated here is used, used in uh, the compressing of the uh, inlet air. If we were to use this in the uh, uh, an aircraft or uh, for pure thrust we would have a nozzle on here so we, we can maximize the thrust. As it stands right now not a lot of thrust comes out but if we were to uh, make that hole smaller we would get a significant amount of thrust. Um, in other types of aircraft engines there could be a, uh, a turbine wheel in the, the uh, exhaust gas flow where we, we could get usable shaft output as in a, a turbo shaft or a uh, they could be even used to drive uh, a car's wheels or a transmission uh, or a boat. They're used, uh, many large turbines are used to drive uh, all kinds of vehicles. Anyways, just uh, to point out my instrumentation, it's pretty basic. Here I have uh, oil pressure, which is right at the uh, inlet to the bearing of the turbocharger. Uh, that's a fairly important one because I do reduce it a little bit for ease of starting and then I increase it as we, uh, we spool up. Uh, this is just uh, to measure combustor pressures. It's on a long uh, extension so I can keep the heat away from the gauge. And here we just have uh, fuel, f fuel pressure. And that's a fairly important one just so I can monitor. Uh, it basically directly relates to how fast the, uh, the engine runs. Um, this is the needle valve and I would suggest to anyone that is wanting to build one of these, it's a very important item. It's a very simple item. It's normally used, uh, normally found uh, in any automotive suppliers, it's used to uh, control the flow of air to uh, air tools. Um, it's very important for regulating the mixture of propane to air so that it, we can get it to ignite. Uh, I would say that most people's problems when they're building this type of turbojet is, uh, is probably on, uh, based on uh, the wrong fuel air mixture. Um, as you can see, almost anything will work. It's, it, it can't get any more basic than that, just a simple piece of three inch pipe and, uh, and there you have it. That's a, a simple cycle, radial flow, turbojet based on a turbocharger. It's, it can't get much simpler than that. Anyways, um, over here we have the ignition system. Uh, it's based on a uh, ignition transformer from a residential oil furnace. And uh, I might add, it's, it's quite dangerous, so uh, be very, very careful with it. Uh, the on-off switch is right here. 
travels through the uh, high tension lead to a standard automotive spark plug. I've ground off the uh, the electrode on uh, one side of it, and it just uh, the spark just goes to the uh, combustor liner. Um, here we have the motor and the oil pump, which is actually the fuel pump from the same uh, residential oil furnace. The oil system is just a simple bypass system where I can regulate um, the amount of oil pressure that goes to the uh, hydrodynamic variance on the turbocharger. And uh, that's about it. I think it's uh, it works very well for what it is, and I've had a lot of fun with it. It's uh, a nice fuel to noise machine. Okay, I'm just going to turn on the fuel. You can see if we can light this up. Fuel's on. Regulator set. Master flow is off, needle valve is set, We've got lots of air. Spark is on. Here we go.
Beautiful.